Hey guys, Dustin Pass here, and I want to show you some some pretty exciting stuff. We've got the Trade Finder here, and as you can see, it's just uh, alerted me of a USD CAD bearish butterfly. Uh, and I've already actually entered this trade, as you can see uh, on the chart here. So what I want to do now is walk you through how this works. Um, so let me uh, get this out of the way here, and we'll talk a little bit about the CAD. Now, I've entered the USD CAD. As I said, this is a really good bearish butterfly. And if, if it continues to push up, what's going to happen is I'll enter some more as long as it's within the, uh, the, the, the reversal zone. Now, I've already got a plan in place as far as risk-reward ratio and all that stuff. And what I'm going to end up with here is, uh, is about a 1 to 1 worst case up to a 3 to 1 best case scenario. So as you can see, this thing is beginning to push up a little bit. Um, so if we get to my next target level, I will enter again. All right, guys, well, listen, the uh, CAD is actually pushed on up to my second level. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, enter another position. Uh, what I'd like to do, this is just a way of scaling into the trade. And it allows me to get a better overall net position without putting all my eggs in one basket all at once. Um, obviously, we want to enter within a zone. Uh, so I went ahead and I've, I've taken a second position here. And... Uh, as I said, we'll continue to, to enter this thing as it goes up as long as it stays within our target zone, our entry zone. And uh, with with the second entry, our um, our win-loss ratio, or I'm sorry, our risk-to-reward ratio has just uh, increased quite a bit. The stops that I'm going to be using on this now uh, and the targets we're going to be using gives us about a 3 to 1. So uh, overall, really, really good trade opportunity here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign out here and then... Uh, as this particular trade progresses, I'll come back and give you updates and, and kind of walk you through this trade step by step. So several hour, hours have gone by now. As, as you can see, at this point, uh, the market has moved down into profit. I've just put a stop in place here because I'm actually fixing to, to go to bed. And we'll see what happens throughout the night. But with this stop uh, in its current location, this is where our 3 to 1 comes into play. Um, you know, we're not risking much at all, about, uh, about 15 pips. And then on the downside, we've got about... Uh, about a 45 point target here so uh, really good uh, risk to reward ratio which is what we look for and uh, so for now I'm just gonna crash out and guys I'll be up in the morning to to kinda go over whatever changes have occurred with you alright guys well through the night the market has just kinda gone into a range here and uh, anytime we see the market range like this it, it gives us a good place to put stops and limits so what I'm gonna do now is adjust my stop as you can see I've brought my stop down to pretty much lock in uh, any profit. So I've got one position where I'm locking in about 12 or 15 pips of profit, and the other position I'm locking in one pip of profit. And uh, at this point, I'm not going to worry too much with it. You know, we'll, we'll just follow this trade as it continues to play out. And, uh, you know, if we see it break down uh, in the next, uh, you know, a few hours, we'll, we'll look to clear our trade out and, and, you know, walk away with a nice little 45, 50 pip profit. All right, guys, I actually just got another alert here on the pound, so I'm going to go take a look at it. Uh, you can see the pound. We've got a 30-minute and a one-hour bearish Gartley that popped up here all simultaneously. I'm going to mark these all as red, and then uh, we'll go check the pound out and see what it looks like at the moment, why this uh, this particular trade here is doing its thing. Looks like we got a sell on the pound, so... Uh, just at a, a quick glance on the 30 minute and the one hour, um, my risk reward ratio is currently not in check, so I'm going to pass on this. Now, if we get the uh, pound to move up higher, it may be something worth taking, but for now, I'm going to pass on this, so we'll, we'll jump back over and continue to watch this CAD, uh, which is literally just a few pips away from taking us out uh, on our 50 point target. It is finding a little bit of support here, and uh, anytime that happens, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to go ahead and clear. Um, at least a portion of your trade just to go and you know make sure that you do uh, walk away with uh, with a good amount of profit you hate to give up 20 30 or 40 pips because uh, you get greedy over just one or two so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clear out my uh, my lower entry the one that's at 99.54 and uh, I'll just leave the upper entry in at this point Just the stop on that one down as well, just to protect our position here a little bit. And I'll put the stop at around 99.40. All 
All right, guys. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I guess um, get get off here again, and we'll continue to monitor this over the next few minutes, next half hour to hour, and uh, just see how it acts. And uh, you know, if I decide to to do something different, then I'll uh, come back on and let you know. Hey guys, it's a few minutes after 10:30, and we've found some obvious support here. It's been about uh, Oh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, the market's been caught up here, and I hate to just let it go um, to get my target for just a few pips, especially when the market starts finding support the way it has. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and close it uh, close it down here. We're pretty much at our target uh, anyway, uh, so I'm going to clear the trade. And uh, this has just been a really good example. Uh, pretty much a, a text, uh, textbook butterfly. It was a one-hour USD CAD butterfly. Had a really good risk-reward ratio, uh, a little over... Uh, one to one initially, and then as we scaled in, that risk reward actually actually came down quite a bit um, because of our net positions. And guys, <clears throat> I want to point something out here. Um, you know, I was just sitting on the couch watching television, and I uh, actually have the the trade alerts uh, sent to my phone. That's something you can do, and it alerted me. And uh, as I showed you earlier, I scrolled through, took a look at the uh, the alert, and it looked good to me. So we went ahead and took a trade. And really within, uh, uh, I mean, I guess it was several hours, but uh, the, the beauty is you don't really have to monitor it. You know, we have rules and guidelines that we have set up uh, in advance, so we kind of know what we're doing. And ultimately ended up being uh, almost a 50 pip trade. And, you know, we were in with two positions, so, uh, you know, on a standard size lot, that's that's about $1,000, you know, a little over $900. I know everyone is at a different level in their trading, so for you that may have only been $90 if you were trading on a mini account, but, you know, it could have been... Uh, 900 or it could have been 9,000. Uh, the, the reality is that um, you know everyone is at a different position and, and what's key to understand here is that uh, you know these happen all the time and it's important that you know which trades to take meaning which patterns are worthwhile and then once you do take them how to profit from them uh, you know how to be successful with them and uh, you know one of our biggest uh, challenges to overcome is the fact that there's so many of these each day you know there literally are hundreds of these patterns that form each day but